Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, hope 2021 is treating you well. Good riddance to 2020. Uh, we couldn't get to the end of the year without something terrible yet again. Uh, music news. Uh, MF Doom passed away a couple months ago and uh, none of us got the memo until yesterday, which uh, sucked. I am wearing my Mad Villain t-shirt uh, from basically 17 years ago or 16 years ago. I don't remember where I, when I got it. It's basically threadbare. But uh, rest in peace, Doom. Basically one of the greatest MCs ever, greatest rappers, lyricists ever. Uh, we miss you, dude. Anyway, on to the Reaper MIDI map stuff. Um, this is a new video, uh, obviously featuring the Novation SL Mark III, uh, which is my favorite um, MIDI controller to use with Reaper and Ableton. And basically, uh, I'll just run through everything real quick so as to not waste too much of your time. Um, all these buttons are important functions, and then I have eight of the pads in grid mode uh, set to eight more uh, Reaper functions uh, because we only have one bank of buttons. Novation, can we please get uh, multiple banks of buttons? That would be awesome per template. And, you know, obviously one bank of pads. So, I, you know, I wanted basically uh, these 16 functions as well as another eight. Um, when you're in a custom template mode, obviously the transport does not work, which uh, sucks. Um, I wish this stuff could be MIDI mappable, but um, I don't think that it even transmits any MIDI. Even when the se sequencer is off, it doesn't transmit any MIDI messages, so you can't use this transport. So I have like kind of like a makeshift transport up here. Um, I don't have the sliders fed. Uh, I don't have the sliders um, set to anything. Uh, just basically MIDI learn for like certain, you know, uh, synth plugins and whatnot. Um, anyway, and the eight encoders are really important because they do the main functions as everything else, all the other maps. Um, so I'll just uh, run through everything. And I am super tired as usual doing these videos. I do them in the middle of the night pretty much. And I'm like, I got to get one of these done. All right. So first, this is jog left and right by measure. This encoder works perfectly. Uh, this one right here is scroll tracks up and down, or, you know, select tracks by scrolling. Um, this is zoom vertically. This is zoom horizontally, just like everything else. Um, this is semitone adjustment. Um, if, a, if an item is selected, this transposes it up and down by semitones, which is really handy. And uh, this is select item, so if there's m uh, more than one item on the track, I'll just use my mouse to duplicate these items here. Um, you could, uh, whatever track is selected, which track one is selected, you could just uh, turn this select item encoder and you can select whatever item you need. It's very, very helpful. And then once an item is selected, you can move it left or right by grid size. Right now my grid is set to 16th notes. Um, and then you could also move the item to different tracks. And then while it's on a different track, you can move it <laughs> even more, which is really cool. So you can move things up and down, left and right, and everything, and that's good. Uh, the next bank of, of encoders, since we only have one extra one, this is all just MIDI learn stuff. Um, channel one, uh, CC 51 to 58. All right, so the buttons, previous and next. This is previous and next track and or previous next file if you're in the Media Explorer. Um, this is undo, obviously it does exactly what it says. This is arm, whatever track is selected. So obviously track one is selected. There's no instrument on it, but uh, you can arm and disarm um, anything as you see fit. Scroll up and down, arm this one. Well, everything's set to like automatically arm when I select a track, but um, so just demonstrating, there we go. And then uh, these two are marker left and right or, um, you know, beginning or ending of the project, which is really handy. And then set time selection, start and end. I always love this for everything because I'm always working in loops pretty much. So you could set a time selection there and then another one and basically, or the end point, and then it jumps back to the starting point. So you're basically ready to record a loop. Really, really helpful. Um, this next button is duplicate, so we'll scroll over again. We'll select this item. Let's see. Select item. Do that last one. This one's, oh, not duplicate. Uh, sorry, that's in a different template. 
This is toggle windows um, showing, you know, uh, let's see, I'll just pull up this uh, Tal Uno LX2. And, you know, basically just shows and hides the windows, um, FX chains or whatever else you have open. And then cycle FX. So if there is another, uh, you know, effect on that track, it'll just cycle. It'll uh, put either one in focus, which is really helpful. And then FX chain. This is another favorite of mine. So if we have this track selected, it shows the FX chain or it hides it. And that's awesome. And then this next one is insert marker. So you can scroll or you, know, you jog your timeline, put a marker there, put a marker there, put a marker there. You get the idea. And then the next row, um, we left off at arm and marker. Uh, focus, basically just um, if there's a bunch of windows showing, you know, like say, you know, an effect plugin window, a synth plugin window, and another one, you can just focus. Uh, it basically just focuses whatever it just kind of cycles the um the one in in, in focus which is cool uh, this is loop on and off or reaper you know repeat toggle repeat and this is play stop and then this is record again the transport is disabled when you're in um, template mode because the templates are basically designed for hardware but you can use them for midi um, and daws which is really great daws as we all know and um, what else? Oh yeah, the A pads. So basically, um, this is basically one template. It's called Reaper All, basically. So um, these first eight pads are basically uh, MIDI notes C1 to uh, uh, what, G, G1, I guess, I think. Um, so if we have a synth active and ready. Yeah, so basically uh, these eight function is a good drum grid you know so basically when you have a drum plugin on all these drum plugins always default to the c1 as your starting point so you know you can get the kick in there the you know the rim shot or the cross stick the snare uh, usually like a ver a snare variation closed hi-hat you can basically get all the stuff in the first eight so i have this mapped for drums if i want to tap in you know like simple drum patterns uh, using those eight pads and then these eight pads are reaper functions so this bottom one is quick quantize. So if you make a MIDI clip, um, you just hit that and it instantly quantizes it to whatever your, your grid was last set to. Usually 16th notes is common. Um, the next button is insert MIDI item and set that track to MIDI overdub, which is really handy for loop, uh, you know, uh, recording loop MIDI stuff. And the next one is called cycle MIDI. So basically it cycles the MIDI record mode. So if you want to go back to regular uh, MIDI re input recording instead of um, instead of MIDI overdub, you can just by cycling through like all the different modes. Uh, the next button is select. So you can quickly, you know, select stuff. Um, let, let's say this track uh, is highlighted. So instead of using the select encoder, we could we could just jog to it and then select it, you know, uh, whoops, not like that. Why is that? Oh, I have the wrong <laughs> the wrong map on. There we go. So, yeah, like right there, I'm selecting that. Bam. You know, you can just direct select anything like that. Very handy. Uh, I should have planned this out a little bit more before I started recording, but whatever. Um, <laughs> this is how I roll usually. So uh, these top four buttons right here are item duplicate, uh, item split, item glue, and trim right edge. So basically if we were jogging and we selected this one right here, we could, um, let's see, we could duplicate it. You know, we could undo. Um, we can go back to that item and then we could split it in various places, all right? And we could uh, glue the item. So if there's like, you know, modifications we made to it, glue that one, uh, select this, glue that. Select this, glue that, um, and then trim right edge is really handy. So if we have this one selected, we could just extend the loop out. It's like that or shrink it really handy. Again, trying to keep this as mouseless as possible. And that's pretty much it. That's a quick rundown of the Novation SL Mark III uh, Reaper template. And it's awesome. And also before I uh, stop recording, what I usually like to do is do the best of both worlds. Basically, um, I have the driven by Moss Reaper script, 
which anybody that's familiar with Reaper and MIDI controllers, uh, this guy, Jurgen Moss, um, I, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Um, he is awesome. Uh, total legend. So basically what I have is I have in regular SL mode, uh, I have my template so I can do everything I want to do. And then I can switch over to in control mode. And then we have, uh, you know, Moss's script. So you have access to track volumes, track panning, um, any effects on there, any devices. And plus the transport is now enabled. So you can do, you, you can kind of jog the timeline like this by holding the, the rewind and fast forward buttons. Um, you could stop playback, you could start it. Stupid loop, I just threw something together. Um, you could enable looping on and off with the blue, uh, the blue square loop button and obviously record does that. And you have ac direct access to mutant solo for the tracks and also monitoring and record arm. So, so his script gives you like the best of both worlds. And you, you know, uh, each of these is track volume, which is really handy. Um, it's set to, uh, uh, I don't know if you could set this in the options in his script, I forget, but uh, it's set to take over, um, not pick up. So basically like, you know, it just kind of just jumps right in. Um, which is fine. And then, you know, in the options section, there's like undo, redo, uh, pr previous project tab, next project tab, tab tempo, uh, you know, setting the tempo with your encoder, um, metronome, I think volume. Yeah, I think. And no, I think it's just on and off. I don't know. Uh, I haven't used that in a while. <laughs> and then uh, he's got quantize in there really cool stuff um so and then if you hold shift you get uh additional uh functionality you could set colors of clips or midi items you could add instrument this way you can add an like an audio track you can add an fx bus all this stuff it's crazy uh i don't go that deep into it but it's really great for like sends and returns like um kind of like ableton style like if you have like a reverb that you just want to kick in on one track um you could you could go into your you know uh settings right here and you'll you'll see the sends you know basically i think you can see up to six i forget i think it's like volume pan and then send one two three four five and six super handy uh thank you for that script by the way buddy um you're awesome and you know so basically you get all this great stuff and but my template kind of covers you know, most of what i need but when i need to switch over and have like tons of uh functionality uh, you know, additional functionality, his script is rad. And it's so great that um, Novation lets you just kind of, you know, go back and forth. So there's my template. And then I'm in control mode. I'm in, you know, using his script and then back. Really cool. So anyway, um, just want to get that done. Uh, again, I hope you are uh, safe and enjoying 2021 so far. And again, good riddance to the worst year ever. Uh, keep wearing your mask. Uh, be considerate of all of your fellow humans. Um, don't be a dick, please. Uh, we've had enough of that over the past, what, centuries? So let's all be good to each other and awesome. And cool. I will see you in the next video. Hopefully I'll get a couple more done this weekend. Um, stay cool. Stay awesome. I love you. Bye-bye.